Hola, buenas noches. Good evening, my beautiful people. Welcome back to the channel. I'm so glad you could join me for another planner video. It's your girl here, Daniela, Miss Four Lizard. And this is going to be part two of my mega planner clearance haul planner. Planners on a budget, planner babe on a budget haul. So if you're interested in seeing what I picked up, just keep on watching. So I just uploaded part one of this mega planner haul. And honestly, I was just gonna do one planner haul video because I had picked up a good number of planners um, up till yesterday. And then yesterday I found that mother load of clearance planners which were all like two to three dollars a piece and I really wanted to get that video out there for you all so that um, as like a public service announcement um, just in case you were interested in also like going and checking out your Michaels to see if your local Michaels also has the planners at like two to three dollars I wanted to put that out there as, as like soon as I could so I just went ahead and uploaded that but prior to that like mega haul which i picked up like all of those planners basically at one michael's at in one shopping trip i had already accumulated a stack of planners and i was going to do like another i was going to do a haul video and then i ended up finding all those other planners um so go check that out in my part one if you haven't seen that already and so then I was forced to kind of like split it into two major haul videos. So these planners I'm going to share with you today are all planners I picked up in the last two weeks or so from various stores, either Michael's or Joann's or Hobby Lobby. And most of these I got on like a discount or on a sale. So uh, I'm excited to share with you what I got. So this planner here was the only exception to all of that. So I actually picked this one up today. I was so excited with the two to three dollar planner um, planners at Michaels that I stopped by another Michaels near me just to check to see what they had. And they had a few like planners on major discount as well. And but the only one that I really wanted was this big pressed florals vertical planner. It's an eighteen month planner beautiful light pink discs i really liked this one when it came out but again back then i wasn't really into the big planners but now i'm i'm definitely expanding into the big planners but this baby was um i think it was three dollars and fifty cents and of course i had to pick it up for that price the dividers I can always reuse, the monthlies I can always redate, the weeklies I can redate, and I absolutely love the pressed florals line. I think it's really well done. Love this divider. I really enjoy the monthly overviews with that large grid section and then the note to self and the check it off sections on the monthlies. The dividers are just absolutely gorgeous. I have the classic um, pressed florals planner, the one that's in the horizontal, and the cover is like the purple, um, the purple pressed florals, and that one is like my all-time favorite <laughs> planner. It's so gorgeous, and I love this divider with the yellow uh, daisies. And so I saw this one and I was like, of course I have to pick this one up for $3. The dividers are just exquisite. And I can definitely see myself um, using this one and just redating everything. And like I said in my last video, I do not mind redating planners at all because they're just so well made and it really isn't that much effort to redate things. So I can definitely hold on to this planner and the pages and just use this as like you know I could just use this for whenever I want to honestly and so it's beautiful the discs the cover the dividers gorgeous so I was so happy I could pick that up okay and then moving on to the second planner in this haul this is the hustle and heart big hourly planner and 
I got this one for, I believe it was $10.50. They were um, like 60% off. All the older planners in one of the Michaels that I went to was were like 60% off. And so this planner was about $10.00. Um, or it was around 12. I forget exactly how much it was, but it was like 10 to 12 dollars as gold metal discs, which by themselves already, that's a steal because gold metal discs are about, I want to say like 22 dollars, um, a regular price. And this is from the Hustle and Heart Collection, I believe. And in my previous haul video, I picked up the, um, I showed you that I picked up the classic sized of this exact line, um, the Hustle and Heart line. And the reason I picked that one up was because I had picked this one up um, in the previous week and I was already playing around with this one. And I just loved the hourly format. The hourly format was like a format I wasn't like used to before. It was my first time using it. And I just like loved it. I fell in love with it. And I really like these goals and checklists at the beginning of the month. And of course the hourly that has 7 a.m. to 7 p.m. I wish that they had like a couple of more checklists, like maybe like four instead of two but you can easily just like pop in your own checklists as well. But I really liked this like hourly uh, format. And so I wanted it in the classic. And so I picked it up in the classic when I saw that it was $2 and 75 cents at my other Michaels. But I'm excited to get into the hourly. Again, this is um, the first time that I'm working in the hourly and I already got into it here let me show you I think I started here yeah you could see how I like played around with it here um one of these days but yeah it's pretty straightforward the hustle and heart collection has a lot of like green and gold to it um kind of abstract it has like these watercolor splotches some nice quotes on it uh, i would say it's pretty modern looking uh, for me it's pretty modern and the color palette is a little bit more neutral um, it's kind of like restrained to that like dark blue dark green gold black and white color palette which is nice it's like not completely like black and white and neutral but it's not like you know very bright and bold and all that so it's kind of like a nice neutral um and, but it's a very cohesive color story i do like the uh the cover here it says it's a perfect day to start and i'm just really excited to play around with the hourly format especially in a big because so i picked that one up for I believe like 10 to 12 dollars i forget exactly how much it was i have a couple more big planners i also picked this one up for about uh 10 to 12 dollars i want to say they were 12 dollars i think the everything was like around 60 percent off like all the older planners and this is a princess elegance planner it's like the princesses but in all of the like soft muted pastels it says 2022 on the cover which i don't mind at all actually like it really doesn't bother me to have the year on the cover uh, some people like want it to be like they don't like having the, the year on the cover because that means it's a little bit harder to use like to reuse in other years but i honestly don't mind so it's a beautiful cover page and then here is the calendar pages. And then we have the monthly overview, which has this beautiful like design at the top and then some nice sections. I really like how the made the um, the monthly. I really like how they made the monthly overview pages pretty different from what we've seen previously. I like when they give us something new. Um, this is very different from any other monthly that has come before it. 
here's the January divider. The Princess Elegance collection is super soft, a lot of pastel accents, and this is a dashboard. We have some peach like accents um, and like a black stripe up and down the spine, I like a little design there on the grid. It's a pretty straightforward and neutral um, dashboard, I would say. So there we have the February divider. The March Divider. I really like the line art in this planner. I think it's super sophisticated and elegant. And I really like what they did with this, with this planner. So there we have Snow White, some princesses. And I am happy to have a big dashboard. Um, this is the first big dashboard that I have. So I was happy to pick this up. Um, in case I ever want to, you know, pull for big dashboard pages, I have something to grab for. So happy I picked up this baby again for like a really sharp discount. Okay, um, another big sized planner. So this is actually not a planner, it's a memory keeper. And I picked this up on clearance at Joann's for about $20. And this is one of those like photo uh, photo keepers from the Happy Planner. I wasn't super like um, interested in it when it first came out because I do a lot of scrapbooking and I use just regular scrapbook paper for that. So I wasn't like super interested in getting all this like pre-made uh, like memory keeper type of uh, paper. But the reason I picked this up is because sometimes I do kind of want to just grab like a pre-made format for scrapbooking. And also the discs are like this beautiful, like soft pink uh, metallic disc. And I could see myself really like reaching for these um, for a, a number of planners. And so I mostly wanted this planner for the discs, to be honest and um, like a, a set of metal discs is about $20 and this whole planner was like $20 on clearance so I figured it was a good deal I could get like a bunch of this like memory keeper scrapbook paper in case I ever wanted to use it I get dividers um, and just a lot of paper there's a lot of paper in this in this memory keeper and it repeats um, for I think four sections so you have the same like type of memory keeper paper for each of these sections and you have a nice cover uh, honestly the cover isn't my favorite it's floral it's moody but it's not my absolute favorite honestly i got this planner for the discs and it's kind of like i paid full price for the discs but i got a cover dividers and a whole stack of paper which i can definitely see myself using this paper um you know at some point i can definitely see myself using it so i picked this one up clearance joanne's Okay, we're almost done with all the big happy planners I picked up. I've been really getting into the big happy planners lately. Never thought that would happen, but I picked up this planner. This is an 18 month planner. It's a vertical style. It has, this is from the Cosmic Watercolor Collection. It has these beautiful baby pink discs. Um, it is an 18 month calendar and it's from like the recent, um, release and i actually used a 40 percent off coupon to pick this baby up so i did get it at a discount it's very neutral but it does have that like the color story kind of ombre up and down the spine there and the overviews are pretty standard except that um, they changed up the grid here instead of just grid you have like a plain section there's no grid there's no lines and then they gave you this like marbling effect up and down like the sides there which i wish they had just given us the grid honestly because the grid is just like a nice like template to plan on and draw lines on i wish they had given us the grid i don't mind the marbling i actually do really like it but i wish they had overlaid it on the grid 
So there's the July divider. Again, this beautiful like cosmic watercolor uh, marbling. The monthly is really neutral except for the spine. And, oh, and this is a horizontal. Never mind. I thought it was a vertical. But again, it's really neutral except for the spine, which just has that, um, that stripe up and down the spine. There's August, September, October. I really like the aesthetic of this line. I picked up the Cosmic Water, uh, the Cosmic Watercolor sticker book, and I really, really like that uh, sticker book. And I'm happy that they came out with like a stars and zodiac-ish. It's not like explicitly zodiac, but it's very much new agey and like inspired by like um you know just new age magic mysticism um witchy kind of vibes so i really like this color palette that they went with and it just it's just very dreamy and ethereal and yeah, i just love it and i i love a horizontal and there we have the uh, back cover and the back of the planner beautiful absolutely beautiful and i really wanted these like baby pink discs so i picked up this baby for 40 percent off and then the last planner that i picked or the last big happy planner product i picked up is this baby which this is not a planner this is a happy notes this is from the villains line it has tiny little mini purple discs and this is a happy note so it's just um a journal with lined paper we have cruella on the first divider um just dotted lined paper and uh we have maleficent on the second divider and ursula on the third the paper is pretty similar um, across the dividers but i really wanted this uh this happy notes because i wanted the cover <laughs> i wanted the cover of this happy notes i thought it would look beautiful on one of my big happy planners and i wanted something from the villains line but i didn't necessarily like the cover of the um of the planner i wish this cover was on a planner instead of a happy notes then i would have just picked up the planner but it was on happy notes and so i picked this one up and they actually used a 60 percent off coupon uh, at joann's they actually had a 60 percent off coupon for some random reason they decided to make a 60 percent off coupon so i went ahead and i picked up this baby and because it's a happy notes it was already a little bit more like cheaper than a, like a full a full size planner so I ended up paying only $9 for this baby right here. Okay, we're getting into our classic sized planners now. So this baby here is the Modern Wild dashboard planner. It has these beautiful like pale yellow gold discs. And this is again, the Modern Wild. It has these abstract designs. I love this cover really neutral um you're at a glance except it has this beautiful like leopard print up and down the spine and then we get to the um the monthly overview which i really like how they did something different we have a little bit of a black box up at the top there with the month we have those same three boxes on the side but instead of the grid here we just have this abstract design which i actually really like then we have July, uh, more abstract designs. The monthly calendar, again with that like leopard print up and down the spine. And we still have that leopard print up and down the spine for the weeklies. But everything else is really neutral. We just have a little gray box there at the top of that section. But other than that, everything is really neutral. So there's August, September. This is such a beautiful planner. Um, I really like it. I love it that it's a dashboard and modern wild. I just love the color palette. I think they hit it out of the park. I think it's a different take on wild styled and colorful leopard. I like how they keep on like 
exploring that theme of like animal print but in like different um, color palettes and yeah just like what they did with this whole line and I feel like it really was a hit because I feel like almost everyone picked up the modern wild sticker book or the planner so there we go and it's interesting how like with some planners we call them like deluxe planners and they really seem to like go all out with the design we give the planner metal discs they seem to um like seem they seem to like spend more money and time in designing the planner like i think it's probably more expensive to print out this like um colorful like cheetah print spine on every single page it's more ink so i imagine that they really just invested a lot of money into making this and i also think that this baby is a little bit more expensive than um, some other classic planners so they do charge more for it but it's interesting how they just like pick one planner to be like the deluxe planner of the release and yeah so this one's beautiful happy to have it okay another planner i picked up for 40 percent off i used a joann's coupon is this bold and bright horizontal happy planner it's in a classic sized this is one of the planners that I kind of marked to be like one of the planners I wanted to pick up in the new release. I love how graphic it is. I love this like black and white polka dot on the spine, kind of like contrasting with the bright colorful stripes. I love the black and white polka dots on the inside the cover. And yeah, it's just so pretty. The calendars really neutral in the beginning and the monthly overviews really similar to a lot of planners in their last release and current release we just have a big section of dot grid um, here on the right side and then three boxes on the left side and then this is july uh divider beautiful the monthly very very neutral just some polka dots up and down the spine and then the horizontal so this is definitely gonna be like a nice journaling planner for me i also picked up the bold and bright sticker book because i just really liked the graphics in this release uh i just i just love colorful so i was happy to see this one come out i love this divider oh i like that one too march april may oh i love this one June, very graphic, July, August, September, October, November, oh, December, this is the last one. And then we get into the inside cover and then the outside cover. Beautiful. Okay. The last classic planner that I have for you is this baby here. This is a monthly uh, format, and this is the Seasonal Doodles that came out last year. This is a planner that was on my wish list for the longest time, and I just didn't feel like the monthly format was for me. And then I found it at Michael's for ten dollars because it was on clearance and i figured that for ten dollars i could definitely play around with it and just pick it up to you know play around with the format and the pages and the dividers and the discs and the covers so the monthly overview is that really annoying style which i don't like definitely not going to be using this monthly overview but the dividers are my absolute favorite. I think they're so adorable and cute and seasonal. The monthlies are really neutral, so I can definitely redate those. I can also definitely use these like monthly overview pages. And then what's nice about the monthly format is that I don't necessarily have to redate these. These are pretty much like undated pages because there's no like identifying dates on them 
the note pages are also like pretty neutral and easily transferable um and then we get into the next month so august september this is such a cute planner and i can definitely see myself repurposing all of these dividers so i was happy to pick this baby up i was eyeing this planner for the longest and i'm glad that a couple of copies made it all the way to the next like year because i could pick it up for ten dollars this is one of my favorite dividers ever the gourds and then thanksgiving and of course christmas there at the end so really happy to have this in my collection that i can pull for these dividers and this cover whenever i want so cute i love these doodles okay okay all right we're getting to the end of my haul we just have one more planner after this guy so this is the only planner in this entire haul that i paid full retail price for this is the daily planner and i got into my head that i really wanted a daily planner so i went to hobby lobby and usually hobby lobby has like their happy planner stuff like 40 percent off but the day that i went it just was not on sale and so i didn't want to just like return when it was um when it was on sale i just felt like let me just pick it up now because i want it now and like i don't have to return and so i just <laughs> went ahead and bit the bullet and i picked this up full price 32 dollars ridiculous this is probably the last time that i will ever like buy a happy planner full price but it did come with beautiful bronze metal discs which by themselves are probably worth twenty dollars so there's that so this is the papillon daily agenda planner i think the cover is gorgeous the inside cover is gorgeous the cover page is gorgeous and it has four months worth of daily pages so we have some nice dividers we have monthly pages which are nice i'm glad that we came with that and then we have the daily agenda pages which something that i really like about the daily agenda pages is that they're double sided we have the exact same thing like on both sides of the page and i just really like this format and they also come in like blue accents as well as in peach accents and i took out already like the first month of peach accented um daily sheets because i wanted to use them already so we just have four months worth of that we have really cute dividers some monthly pages and again we have the blue accented daily pages so i just got into my head that i really wanted to use those and so i just went to hobby lobby and picked up this daily planner all right so my last planner that we have here is a skinny planner so this is the second ever skinny planner i have picked up in my life i picked up one skinny planner um last year and uh, that was the only skinny i picked up and then i saw this baby here and i just had to have it she's so cute so this is from the um, botanicals collection she's on these gorgeous like light green avocado discs it says seek beauty in all things in the front and it has a beautiful design on the inside cover a beautiful cover page um let's see we have some calendar pages and then the july divider we have just a nice grid pay paper on like for the monthly overview and then we just have a july overview there the calendar and then this is a horizontal style um planner gorgeous and it has this nice like purple spine and yeah we just again at the end of the month we have grid paper and then august september october i love this line so much it's so beautiful this planner really made me happy when i saw it 
so I knew I had to pick it up and skinny planners are are fun they're definitely a fun size um, this is actually only a year long so it just goes till June of next year so I feel like I'll reach for this planner on weeks that I don't have too much going on I want something really simple and sweet and to the point and so I'll just reach for this on weeks that um that I just want to have something really simple uh, a really simple planner and how I'm planning on using this is I will just use it whenever I feel like it and then redate everything so let's say that I don't pick up this planner until September of next year so I'll go and I'll go to like July and I'll just ignore the July and the June and July and like I'll white out this up at the top I'll white out the numbers or I'll put stickers over the numbers and then I'll just use this week as if it's like September 3rd through something if if that makes sense and I'll just go in order so if I use this like let's say September 3rd to like September something I'll use it you know redate everything and then let's say the next week I don't use it until like mid-October then I'll just like white this out I'll put October I'll redate everything and then I'll like use these pages again if that makes sense and that doesn't bother me at all to like have things be like out of order or to have like the weeklies not correspond to like the month um, on the tab that doesn't bother me at all so yeah I'm excited to play around with this baby she's so cute so happy to have her in my collection and she's just gorgeous the discs and the cover like by themselves are just so cute so happy to have this okay i just have two more things left to show you so this is a block pad i got at joann's for five dollars i got it for 60 percent off because i used that 60 percent off coupon and i had never seen this block pad ever like before in all the joann's that i've gone to there's about like three that are in my area and none of them had this block pad and then i just randomly one day stopped by a joann's that was kind of out of my area and one that i don't necessarily like go to that often and i found this block pad and i don't know what collection it is from or like where it's from it kind of gives me like that mixed media mom type of vibes but i picked this up because it has this really long schedule from 5 a.m till 10 p.m which i absolutely love i love having me like a long schedule because i tend to have long days and i just love hourly schedules so much so i always pick up anything that has an hourly schedule I also like how it has like a top priority section and then like a grid section and I usually don't use this section for like to buy items I tend to make it like a to-do list or like just decorate there or like other to like yeah just other errands I need to do even a journaling section would work there so I picked up this baby okay and the last thing I picked up was this pack of zebra mild liners it's a 15 uh, mild liner pack and this is the last thing i picked up in my crafting haul so i actually had like a five pack of mild liners that i got last year and um i used it up. i used them all up i used them all up completely and so i've been kind of like wanting to pick up more mild liners i really like them so I just went ahead and used a 40% off coupon at Michael's to pick up this mild liner set. And so far I'm really enjoying playing around with these babies. So that was the last thing I picked up. And that is everything in my haul. I hope you enjoyed checking out this part two of my like mega planner clearance haul. Um, like most of these items I got like 40 um 60 percent off so i'm really happy with that i really try not to spend like full price on happy planner because they are really expensive products and for me it's worth it like 
going multiple times to Joanne's or to Michael's and using the same 40% off, 50% off, 60% off coupon um, over and over and over again and just go like once a day um, and just like pick up items like one at a time because for me it's totally worth it to do that and save the money. And thankfully, I don't live too far from my Joann's. I honestly can walk to my Joann's. So sometimes I'll just like walk to my Joann's. It only takes me like 25 minutes to walk there. And I'll just go like two times a week and just like pick up items like one by one by one and just use like a 40% off coupon or a 50% off coupon each time. And that way it saves me money and <laughs> that's always good because um, Happy Planner can be an expensive hobby. It really can. And so you want to save your coin um, however way you can. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed my part two of my Mega Planner clearance haul. And I actually want to say that this is it. I'm going to go on a no buy for the rest of the year. <laughs> We'll see how that goes, but I am no stranger to no buys. I definitely have done them before um, for a variety of things, not just planners. And I think it's always helpful and healthy to just go on a fast, if that makes sense, and just like commit yourself to not buying product of, you know, anything of any particular type of product and so I have definitely like have enough planners and stickers and crafting supplies to last me until the end of the year and I really want to try to just only buy happy planner when when it's on a mega clearance like 90% off because it's just so much affordable so much more affordable to buy planners if they're like two to three dollars even when they're like $10, that's still kind of like pushing it for me. But, you know, I cannot see myself buying planners um, that are at, that are that aren't at least 40% off. And even then it's starting to be like, even then that's a little bit too expensive for me. Um, so ideally I'd want to wait until like 50% off, 60% off coupons come out. And then if, if those don't come out, then I just want to um, wait until like planners become out, outdated and then just pick them up when they're like 60, 70 percent off. So I think that's going to be the plan from now on. And I yeah, I'm going to go on a no buy till the end of the year. I think I can make it. And we're just going to check in every like month to see how that's going. So definitely um, expect a no buy announcement video coming soon. And yeah, so we'll see how that goes. All right, everyone. Um, I hope you're doing wonderfully. Let me know how you're doing in the comments down below. And I will see you in my next video. Bye.